What's up, winners? Thank you for tuning in. I'm so happy that you're here. Today, I'm bringing you very, very exciting information regarding a Cardano NFT project that I think you should be aware of and see why it's pumping. Thank you so much, winners, for taking me to 225. I appreciate your support. And if you're new here, we talk about everything real estate, finance, and crypto related. So I welcome you to subscribe. It's free. It doesn't hurt. It helps me. It helps out the algorithm. It helps get a word out there, especially for what I'm bringing you today. So today I want to talk about Pastel Labs. If you haven't been following them, be sure to check them out on Twitter. So Pastel Labs was created to be the first premier CNT brand to bring real world utility to the cardinal space and everyday lives so remember this right here to the cardinal space and everyday lives so pasto labs is the parent for lack of a better term of pasto buds and bright pals so bright pals began first as its own independent project currently on twitter they have over 10,000 followers uh, they describe themselves as adding some color to the cardano blockchain and they're owned, as I mentioned, by Pastel Buds. So Pastel Buds is the first project on Cardano to provide real life utility. They have over 7,700 followers, so be sure to check them out. So again, keywords, real life utility. Um, so Pastel Labs tweeted this a couple of days ago. They just released their Pastel paper, and that's what I'm going to go over with you. Um, so check it out, it's very exciting, remember, they want to bring real world utility to the Cardano space and everyday lives. Pastel paper. So the introduction here, well, this is what it looks like. I mean, I really like their art. It's great. All right. So introduction. Pastel Labs was created to be the first premier CNFT brand aiming to bring real world utility to the Cardano space. We plan to build a multi-marketplace called Rainbow depot that will feature a payment integration between cardano and amazon this huge guys amazon the biggest online retailer in the world a merchandise store and an nft marketplace so check this out cardano we know it's built for success 2023 is the year of cardano amazon the biggest online retailer and they also aim to do their own nft marketplace so if you look at other projects such as um dead pixels and space buds, you can see how high their floor price is and they each have their own NFT marketplace. So this is very exciting guys, especially because they want to apply this to our everyday lives. Rainbow Depot will also include various features to generate additional revenue as we build, such as banner ads and future pathways to come. We will link Amazon payments with the crypto native token ADA and our project token Rainbow. So later on in the video, I'll be going over how you can get some rainbow um, as it is usable assets of payment. Additionally, we will sell an array of Pastel Labs themed merchandise. I can't. I'm, I'm excited about that. I want to rock it. I want to rock the merchandise. I really like the art. So I'll go over more of that in a bit. The Rainbow Depot will be the main hub of our project. And as we develop, it will grow in offerings and features. Some listed here, some yet to come. Pastel Labs was the first in Cardano history to solidify a buyout of another project in our Brad Pals acquisition. That's what I mentioned earlier. So together with both of our two flagship CNT collections under one brand, Pastel Buds and Brad Pals are better set than ever to grow with both collections under the Pastel Labs label. So whoever's the head of Pastel Labs, guys, they know what they're doing. They're serious about the project. I mean, they acquired Brad Pals first in Cardano history. I mean, I'm excited about it. So now we are poised to build a strong brand that will provide the Cardano ecosystem with community, fun, and appreciative value through our CNATs, marketplace, and future development plans, such as our Pastelverse. That's huge. Huge. All right, so check this out. Ada, Pastelverse, Amazon. Pretty cool, right? All right, so let's move on here. Page three, mission and vision. Our mission is to blur the lines between our everyday life and Web3 through, uh, through our all-in-one website, Rainbow Depot. 
the Rainbow Depot will host our Cardano bridging to Amazon's marketplace. So think about Rainbow Depot as the broker between Cardano and Amazon. A slap it function for a holder, our merchandise store, and our CNFT marketplace. Once prior goals are fully developed as revenue streams, we will build a portal to the metaverse, the past tellverse. Our CNFTs will be capable of staking to earn our rainbow token for 10 years in a three-stage distribution plan. Rainbow token will be capable of being bought, traded, and sold on the open market, beginning on DEXs, but with goals to breach into sexes in later development phases. All right, so decentralized exchanges at the moment, eventually goes to go to centralized exchanges. Uh, when it does, guys, we've seen tokens like just moon when they hit centralized exchanges because it makes it available pretty much for the entire world. All right, our own multi-marketplace and our approved project use of mutant services, and I'll go over that later in the video, along with partnerships with CNFT Slabs, Soda Pop Studios, and others to come, will help to provide additional utilities to the rainbow token and other future uses, such as used to buy items on Amazon via ADA or rainbow. Rainbow use within our CNFT marketplace, rainbow use for merch, rainbow project governance, future metaverse use alongside staking and raffle use for mutant services. Again, I'll be going over that later in the video. Uh, just let me get through this light paper here. In the future, we aim for rainbow to be Utilized in LP farming and NFT farming, holding on to either of our flagship collections, pastel buds, and bright pals. We hope you're in rainbow through staking and potentially in the future with NFT farming in the pastel verse. So I'll show you guys exactly how to do that. It's very simple. It's very easy. You know, I'm a big um, believer, and, and I shout it out, right, how easy it is to stake in Cardano. All right, so the CNFT market, current overview. We have some numbers here. Um, from CNFT Jungle for 2022, 288 million, some Cardano NFT statistics. And I just posted a video going over some of these guys. I mean, I do a weekly recap, so I'll link it up above uh, so you guys can take a look at those numbers more in depth. All right, now Cardano and NFT future outlook. Again, I already made a video and I'll link it up here as well about the Cardano outlook for 2023, which looks very promising, makes me very bullish. But now we have a CNFT project who looks very bullish and has a great outlook for 2023. All right, so with ongoing Solana outages and acts, core team members leaving Phantom to Ethereum over promises, Cardano has been has seen a surge in popularity and trust. You've been seeing that, guys. There's been a lot of wheels accumulating. Um, you know, Cardano was just has just been hated, right? And now we're finding out um, all these um, centralized exchanges going down because. They didn't believe in Cardano, and now we know because Cardano is the real decentralized blockchain, right? So no one was benefiting at the top if the coin pumped. This is a coin for the people, a blockchain for the people, technology for the people. So Cardano has reached a new milestone of 50 million total on-chain transactions, or nearly 1 million of which in the last two weeks of September 2022. Currently, the total number of ADA wallets stands at 3.5 million as of August 2nd. Now, if you want... More up-to-date numbers, I'll link up the video as well. Uh, I talked about Cardano by the numbers um, so we can get more accurate information and how Cardano began 2023. So a blockchain that is peer-reviewed by academic scholars and scientists. Uh, and this is good. I know this is what makes Cardano slow to some people, but it's also what makes Cardano good. So Cardano could eventually process up to 1 million transactions per second. Additionally, Cardano is by far one of the most energy efficient cryptos with other 1,000 dApps currently in development. Um, if you follow me on Twitter, uh, I, I go over those numbers again as far as where we are uh, when it comes to projects being built on Cardano. So be sure to follow me if you're not. It is approaching becoming the next blockchain boom similar to Ethereum in 2018's dApp revolution. Crypto analysts are predicting the Cardano could reach a price per coin evaluation of $10 to $50 by 2030. Just recently, Cardano was voted the most intimate crypto brand in 2022, leaving Bitcoin and Ethereum behind. In regards to NFTs in general, a market report published by Verify Market Research provides a lofty prediction for the future of the non fungible token, NFT market, projecting its value to swell to $231 billion by 2030. 
That's from Cointelegraph 2022. The outlook for NFTs and Cardano projects looks quite lucrative for investors and speculators alike. So note this here. Apparently, Pastel Labs has some big investors backing it up. So good for them. Good for us uh, in order you know, to see this vision come to life. So most recently, according to MusiSwap, Cardano's Basel upgrade has cut gas fees by 50% and transaction space by 10 times. All right. Your collections and future deflationary plans. So as I mentioned, Pastel Labs is made up of Pastel Buds which is a series of 6,868 NFTs. There's also a Pastel Buds 3D, and so far there's 3,730. So far. So that means, that means there might be more to come. Uh, Bright Pals, right, which is the one they acquired, a series of 8,888 NFTs. There's also a Bright Pals 3D, and so far there's 340 of them so far. So that means there might be more to come. Deflationary plans for NFT collections long term. All right, let's take a look here. Bright Buds, Future Burn to Breed Collection, 2 to 1. Mutant Buds, 3D, Passo Buds, 3D Mutation, Burn, 2 to 1. So you can eventually take advantage of this if you hold both of their brands. All right, let's move on to the Rainbow Token. Rainbow Token and Cardano will be the currencies usable within our multi-marketplace, Rainbow Depot. These tokens will have utility in our marketplace and eventually through the metaverse. We aim to have a rainbow. We aim to have a rainbow become redeemable to play mini games and to compete in the pastel verse. Rainbow token will offer governance to the future of our metaverse development and potential changes in project development. Besides buying a stake of NFTs to receive tokens, they will also be acquirable through proof of attendance by interacting with the Rainbow Depot, future deflationary collection events, and being active in our Discord and Telegram. Um, if you want to join their Discord, I'll leave the link down below for you guys. Make it easy. Pastel Buds and Bright Pals hosted on Mutant Services will be allowed to withdraw their rainbow staking rewards whenever they so choose after accumulating at least one rainbow. Rainbow token will first be available to purchase after its ISPO is complete in its initial DEX offering of 5% of the total of the total supply. After the rainbow IDO is complete, rainbow token will become DEX tradable. And that's what their token looks like. Now the team, let's take a look here. Team's bio can be found in Pastel Labs Discord server in our team channel. I've been in the Discord, guys. You do see Jake uh, active on there. He is the founder. Charlie is also the founder. Uh, they have their Discord names here, so you can go check it out. Um, everyone's really helpful, not just people from the team, but I mean, just the community itself um, is very helpful if you have any questions and they welcome you with open arms in the Discord. All right, so some um, service providers, Mutant Labs, as mentioned before, and some partners here, CMT Slabs, which I mentioned before, Soda Pop, uh, Studios, which I mentioned before, and Cardano Lands. If you guys want me to make a video on Cardano Lands, let me know in the comments, and I'll be happy to go ahead and do so. More exciting part, the roadmap overview. Our roadmap is non-linear in order to not overpromise or underdeliver. Slow and steady. That's Cardano's way, right? Just like the great Charles himself, each roadway is the next potential direction of the project's path. Token governance will allow the community some ability to dictate our direction. No, in some cases, more than one road can be followed at once. So that's good that they note that. I mean, we've seen by experience that that is the case with projects, right? Uh, just based on what becomes available based on, on their funding. So take a look at this art, guys. I mean, the art itself is what got me into this project. And I really, really like it. All right, so Venture Capitalist presentation, Venture Capitalist funding acquired, their token launch. I mean, this is all just coming together very, very nicely. And a great, wonderful, wonderful art. So some of our roadmap milestones and goals. It's token launch on Sunday Swap, Min Swap, and Muesli Swap. Not available there yet. I checked. I confirmed. Not available there yet, but we're going to get there soon. NFT farming, NFT staking, private funding acquired, Robinhood and Coinbase launch. This one, I'm excited for this one. This is the real deal, guys. 
burn breed event, marketplace completed, mutation event. The website is rebalanced. If you try to visit the website now, it's down. So it's currently being worked on. Uh, centralized exchange launch, KuCoin, Binance, for example. Uh, Carnival, seasonal meta breeding event, Bright Pals and Pastel Buds. The way I picture that is is maybe something like Art Basel in Miami. But, you know, more information in the Discord. Future partnerships at CNT plus CNT. Uh, QR code event, merchandise launch. I'm excited about that as well. Passover is finished. Mini games and CNT advertisement in Pastelverse, right? So if you're a gamer, this project might be for you as well. Rainbow Depot, marketplace and all additions fully functional. Governance added for Futureverse layout. Dropship merch collabs already. CNT slabs, Soda Pop Studios, etc. Community suggestions to come and collaborations and partnerships to come. Wow. And there it is, guys. The pastel paper by Pastel Labs. Now, when does the marketplace come to place, right? Rainbow Depot, they tweeted, Pastel Labs tweeted, the estimated launch for this is February 1st. So the light paper was released about a week ago, but this tweet uh, was just released over the last 24 hours. And this is why you see the pump taking place on the JPEG store. This is going to be huge, first of its kind. Remember, they want to bring real world utility to Cardano and our everyday lives. So Rainbow Depot launching February 1st, 2023. Now, how can you take place in this? Well, you can own a Bright Pal. Currently the floor is at 59. The floor has almost doubled. It was in the low 30s uh, just two days ago. Uh, but this announcement is huge and again, the way I see it is Dead Pixels, they have their own NFT marketplace, and Space Buzz have their own NFT marketplace. And they're just very promising projects with really high floors so if you're looking to invest. I mean, this is not financial advice, but this is how I'm analyzing and why I keep on buying more Pastel Buzz and Bright Pals. I simply started buying these just simply based on the art. I think they're really cute. They remind me of Ethereum's Doodles. Doodles is big in Miami. I like going there. Um, so simply because of that, I started buying, but knowing now the light paper, knowing the marketplace that's coming and knowing that I missed out on space buds and dead pixels, uh, because of those reasons, I'm personally accumulated, but please, there's not financial advice to your own research. Uh, but if you like to join the community, you can start by acquiring bread pals. The floor is currently at 59 Cardano. This is what the art looks like. Very colorful, very cute. Pretty, pretty, pretty neat. Now, let's take a look at Pastel Buzz. So Pastel Buzz, the floor is currently at 82. Again, it was in the lower 30s, so it has more than doubled. It's had a very, very nice pump over the last 48 hours. This is what the art looks like here. And I don't think I'm done buying any one of these projects. I think I will still be accumulating as i mentioned i started buying simply based on the art then these announcements come through and it's making believe in the project more long term so this is what the art looks like for pastel buds let me know in the comments if you own one or if you plan to get some or how many you own now as i mentioned earlier in the video i was going to go over how to obtain the rainbow token so we go over to their partner which is the mutant labs and under staking, you can see, let's take a look. Pasto Lab is one of the, the partners here. And if you go to stake, you can see what is eligible for you. These are some of the ones that I hold that I don't have listed for sale. Right? So that's a total of, let's see, 11 of them. All right. So you can select all of them and you can stake and then you know type in your password and it's that easy and simple you guys so let's take a look here there so your stake has been created you can go over here and you can go to rewards and you can see well eventually you can see 
um, what you'll be earning every day on here, right? So these are some of the other projects that Mutual Labs has partnered with. But let this transaction go through here a little bit. And then you can see how many you can earn and then claim those rewards. And it's still early in January. So if there's a February release set to take place, you have all this month to just stack the rainbow token and start using that marketplace in early February. So let me see. We'll give it here. We'll give it another moment here, guys. While we wait for that, if you like this type of content, real estate, finance, crypto, specifically Cardano, please hit the like button, hit subscribe, leave a comment. It doesn't cost any money. It really helps me out. It helps out the algorithm. Get this video out there. And I can keep making these videos for you. All right, let's take a look here to see if it's if it's showing up. All right, and there we go. So as soon as you get one reward, you can go ahead and claim. Based on the 11 that I hold right now, I can get 35 rainbow tokens per day. Eventually, they'll become available on MuesliSwap, and we can see exactly um, what the ratio is to ADA. Winners, thank you for tuning in. I hope you found this video entertaining. Uh, let me know if you pick any of these up uh, or what you think of the project or if there's anything that I missed on here that you want to add. Let me know in the comments. Thank you for tuning in.